Welcome aboard and thanks for flying with Delta. Our first priority on every flight is safety. So before we depart, I'll be giving a brief safety presentation. Okay, be sure all carry-on items are securely stowed in an overhead bin and place smaller items under the seat in front of you. And ensure all aisles, exits, and bulkhead areas are clear. And ensure your mobile phones and electronic devices are turned off. If you're seated at an emergency exit, please review the responsibilities for emergency exit seating on the back of your safety information card, which is in your seat pocket. Are you willing and able to assist with the operation of the exit if necessary? Yes. Yeah, not really. If you are unable to perform these functions, please let us know, and we'd be happy to find you another seat. Hey, hey. As we leave the gate, make sure your seat belt is fastened. To fasten, insert the metal tip into the buckle and adjust the strap so it's low and tight across your lap. To release the belt, just lift the top of the buckle. Please remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened anytime the seatbelt sign is on. And even if the sign is off, please keep your seatbelt fastened in case we experience unexpected rough air. For everyone's safety, Federal regulations require all passengers to comply with the posted placards and lighted information signs located throughout the cabin, in addition to any crew member instructions. Smoking is not allowed on any Delta flight, and federal law prohibits tampering with, disabling, or destroying a restroom smoke detector. There are 10 exits on this plane, six doors, three on each side, and four window exits over the wings. Each door has a detachable slide that can be used as a raft. An additional raft is located in a ceiling compartment at the back of the plane. All exits are clearly marked with an exit sign. However, if there is a loss of power and cabin visibility is reduced, lights will illuminate the aisles to guide you to an exit. Please take a moment to find the exits closest to you. And remember, they might be behind you. It's unlikely, but if cabin pressure changes, the panels above your seat will open, revealing oxygen masks. If this happens, reach up and pull a mask toward you until the tube is fully extended. Place the mask over your nose and mouth. Slip the elastic strap over your head and adjust the mask if necessary. Breathe normally and note that oxygen is flowing, so don't worry if the bag doesn't inflate. Be sure to adjust your own mask before helping others. A water evacuation is also unlikely, but just in case. Life vests are located under your seats in the economy cabin. If you're seated in the first class or business class cabin, life vests are either between your seats, under your seat, or in a compartment under your armrest. To use, remove the vest from its container by pulling on the tab and then opening the pouch. Slip the vest over your head. If your vest has one strap, wrap it around your waist and attach it to the buckle in front. If your vest has two straps, fasten the straps to the front of the vest and then adjust them loosely around your waist. As you leave the plane, inflate the vest by pulling down on the red tabs at the bottom of the vest or manually inflate it by blowing into the tubes at shoulder level. You can activate a light by pulling down on the tab in front, but if your vest doesn't have a tab, the lights will activate automatically in the water. If necessary, we'll distribute infant life vests or other flotation devices for children who weigh 35 pounds or less. Also, most seat cushions can be used for flotation. Now, before we take off, be sure your seat is upright, your aisle armrests are lowered, your tray table is put away, and all carry-on items are properly stowed. If this plane features Wi-Fi, internet access will be available while we're above 10,000 feet. Once airborne, we'll let you know when you can use approved electronic devices, but note that some items may not be used in flight at any time. You'll find a list of approved electronic devices in the in-flight information section of Sky Magazine. As we come through the cabin for our final safety check, Please let us know if you have any questions. And finally, now would be a good time for everyone to review the safety information card, which is in your seat pocket. On behalf of everyone at Delta Airlines, we want to thank you for paying attention to our safety presentation. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight.